we present the analog expansion unit. The GSM Commander, in all its glory, gives us one analog input. And we can do amazing things with that one analog input. But sometimes it's not enough. And that's when we need the analog expansion unit. This thing provides us with eight analog inputs and we can connect just about any industrial center that you can imagine to this thing. Temperatures, pressures, humidity, tank levels, just about anything you can think of. You will notice on the side we've got a bunch of little switches. This allows us to select for each of these inputs whether it will be a 0 to 30 volt input or whether it will be 4 to 20 milliamps. And that's what allows you to connect just about anything. Right, so here we have our standard GSM Commander demo kit, but we've added an analog expansion to it. And now we're going to connect it by just taking the simple ribbon cable that is supplied with the analog expansion. And we connect the one end to the GSM Commander like that. And the other end goes into the analog expansion. And there we go. If we switch on now, the GSM Commander supplies power to the analog expansion. And the analog expansion is taking the readings and sending them over to the JSON Commander where it's populating it into variables. Now for our demonstration, I'm going to show you how we check the voltage of this battery using the analog expansion. But before we do, let's check it using the multimeter. I'm going to just put my probe right there. And you'll see we're measuring about 13.01 volts. Right, next thing I'm going to plug this into my analog expansion. I've got a nice wire made up. But before I plug it in, I need to make sure that the little switch on the side is set such that input 1 will be 0 to 30 volts and not on the 4 to 20 milliamp range. It is on the 0 to 30 volt range, so I'm going to plug it right in. And if you now look at the software, you'll see how it samples it. You'll typically find that an input of 10 volts will be populated into a variable as 10,000, while 5 volts will be 5,000. Uh, for milliamps, it's similar. Uh, it will be populated in microamps. So 14 milliamps will be populated as 14,000, and 8 milliamps will be populated as 8,000. One thing to keep in mind 0 to 30 volts is not always that meaningful in your application because that might, um, you might be measuring a tank level and go say 0 to 10 volts, and 10 volts would be a full tank. But I want to maybe have it in liters and not in volts. So in the software, you can actually set that up. You can say, if you see 10 volts, show me 5,000 liters. If you see 5 volts, show me 2,500 liters. You can set it all up in software so you are able to work with the real world units that make sense to you. So there we have it. Eight analog inputs. Each of them is selectable between 0 and 30 volts and 4 to 20 million. Keep in mind, because the analog expansion makes use of the variables feature inside the GSM Commander, it is only usable with the models that include that feature, and that is the GC0641 standard or the GC1281 professional models. Thank you very much for watching.